satisfying the thirst of a nation which in 2025 will overhaul China to become the world's most populous nation is always going to be a problem but when you combine that with the fact that more than 40% of this record breaking population will be living in cities where around 80% of the water supplied for domestic use comes out as wastewater a whole new problem arises in keeping with the theme of decentralized development a new wastewater treatment technology is on the horizon one that may hold some of the answers soil biotechnology sewage treatment plant is an indigenous wastewater treatment process that uses nature's processes to purify water professor h s shankar and his associates from the chemical engineering department at the indian institute of technology bombay developed this technology the institute has also received a patent for this technology from both the us and the indian patent offices here nature's fundamental actions of respiration photosynthesis and mineral weathering purify the water the filtering equipment of a soil biotechnology plant is called a bioreactor the construction involves digging of a trapezoidal trench which is reinforced with rip rap a layer of rubble is added above which a proprietary culture of soil earthworms and bacteria are added and covered by another layer of rubble over this rows of plants are laid in between which rows of pipes are laid the sewage water is sprayed through the pipes and is filtered as it trickles down this bed aragyam supported an installation of this technology at accept an ngo that treats and rehabilitates hiv positive patients at its campus on the outskirts of bangalore the aim of this installation was to independently test the technology which claimed to reduce total suspended solids from anywhere between 85 to 97% chemical oxygen demand from anywhere between 92 to 97% biological oxygen demand from anywhere between 90 to 97% along with reducing the turbidity and concentrations of nitrogen and phosphorus at the same time wastewater treatment services were being provided to campus where till then the bathroom water was disposed in a well which is not good for the groundwater table the septic tanks for toilet water were also not functioning well due to the clay soil in the area the trial also sought to verify the claims that the plant generated a low volume of sludge had an odorless operation and required low maintenance as there were fewer mechanical parts the soil biotechnology plant installed at accept was designed to daily deliver 15 kiloliters of water clean enough to be used for irrigation for this a 15 kiloliter bioreactor was built to test if groundwater recharge a household flushing quality water could be obtained a smaller 1 kiloliter per day secondary bioreactor was also built which purified the output water from the primary bioreactor construction began with the septic tank of the campus being enlarged to form the input tank for the plant a wastewater pump was installed to pump water from the septic tank to the bioreactor to construct the bioreactor itself first a trapezoidal pit was dug and the walls of the mud pit were reinforced with rip rap a fiber reinforced composite lining was added to further strengthen waterproofing on this an under drain consisting of stone rubble of different sizes was laid 3 meter long galvanized iron pipes with holes were planted at intervals 
to aid aeration. Over the under drain, layers of proprietary rock material and additives were laid. At the top, another layer of stone rubble was added. Parallel rows of soil buns were built on which plants were sown. Networks of pipes were laid over the surface. These pipes sprayed water from the septic tank over the filtering media. A riprap reinforced well was built as the output tank. A water pump was installed to draw water from the output tank for reuse in irrigation. The wastewater cycle in the plant begins at the toilets, bathrooms and kitchens, draining into a sequence of septic tanks with many chambers. In the septic tank, the wastewater flows slowly from one chamber to another, allowing the solid waste to settle. The wastewater in the final chamber of the septic tank is pumped to the primary bioreactor. Here, the first stage of purification occurs where the suspended solids are removed and accumulate at the top of the bioreactor. The water trickles through the bed and removal of pollutants occurs. The treated water is collected in the output water tank. The same water is pumped back to the primary bioreactor for a second stage of purification to obtain water that is within the requirements of the State Pollution Control Board. This water is being used to water the crop and fruit trees on the campus. For a higher level of purification, the water is pumped from the output water tank to the secondary bioreactor where the water is collected separately. The maintenance only involves unclogging the holes of the pipes, cleaning the top surface of the bioreactor and landscaping the gardens. Not including the civil construction cost, the 15 kiloliter per day plant cost rupees 15 lakhs. About 100 square meters of land was required to construct the bioreactor and the output tank. Such a setup could be used by small towns, housing layouts, institutes, hotels, apartments and office complexes looking to get rid of their waste in an environmentally friendly manner. After this installation, Aragium found soil biotechnology to be a promising solution for wastewater treatment in India. The technology uses less electricity, requires no skilled operation or maintenance, is environmentally friendly and can recover costs through reuse of wastewater. Widespread adoption of this technology will not only increase wastewater treatment capacities but also create an other source of water to meet the water demands of our growing population and economy.